Hello everyone, my name is Daria, welcome back to my channel. And me and my trusty fan are back to react to episode 4 of the Campany Diaries and I am so excited because I'm pretty sure in this episode we're going to see the infamous hunting trip. I've seen a lot of pictures of it. I've been particularly excited for that scene. After the end of last episode with the bee related revelation of feelings, I just think we're going to get a lot of delicious pining in this episode. They're thinking about each other. And is she touching the spot where she was stung? Yes, she is. Seems ever since the awful creature pricked you. An awful creature known as love. <laughs> Mr. Cupid himself pricked her? I think so. What I need is your help getting him to fall in love with you. He needs no help. He is already there, baby. He is so far gone. He needs divine intervention at this point. That's the only thing that can bring him back from loving Kate Sharma. And you will still help me encourage him to propose. Ah, oh, this kills me! Because oh, Edwina is just constantly saying, like, begging her, like, please, help me, help me, help me. And Kate just doesn't even have time to wrestle with her own feelings. She's just gotta be the big sister. Kate! Ooh, the first meetup since the bee sting. I got stung. Oh. <laughs> The second, uh-huh, that he let out, there was so much feeling behind that, I didn't even want to talk about it. And also, he is looking directly at where she got stung. Might you give her a tour today while I spend time with the other ladies? Oh, I- I'm Edwina is basically just setting them up on a date right now. Who's Edwina? Kate is being modest. Do you not think it's Uh, true? sir? Kate will make you eat your words yet again, sir. Do not embarrass yourself like this. Managing. Why would you assume I had any trouble managing at all, my lord? I only mean to say- Because I am a woman? Hmm? No. I did not say that. <laughs> Benedict is enjoying this so much. The only thing better than Kate roasting Anthony and him just being totally flabbergasted is the fact that his siblings enjoy watching Kate roast him so much. I do think I know what I desire in a match. What is that? I should like to be with someone kind and gentle. He's so even-tempered. Anthony even-tempered. Girl. <laughs> Anthony Bridgerton is a lot of things. I think you could say that he is kind and gentle to the people that he loves, but even tempered. That man is consistently on the verge of a mental breakdown. He's a walking disaster, just an anxious, chaotic mess. And that is why we love him. Has your sister gone off somewhere? Hunting. Hunting. With your brother, in fact. I'm having them spend the day together in the hopes of their finally finding common ground. Uh, they've got some common ground, sweetie. I don't think it's the common ground that you want them to have, though. Certainly an intriguing one. <laughs> Daphne just keeps, she's got like a list of receipts in her mind of all the things that she's seeing. Good, she's what? storing them for later. Seems you'll manage quite well. Much better than your maid in her house. Stop, they're cracking. Ah! I saw that look. And I saw that look, Miss Sharma. You two are not slick. You're not getting anything past me or past Daphne. Yes. Oh, that was a very quick yes. What are you hoping to hear, Anthony? Girl. God damn it. They're always getting interrupted. I literally can't stand this. First the bee and the almost kiss. Now they were obviously going to say something important to each other. Everything is well with Sophia. Ooh, well, you can ask him. He's right there. I suppose you can ask him yourself. My lord. The way I'm just predicting these lines. The men out enjoying the sunshine is a sign of a great hunt. <laughs> she will not let them breathe. And she looks so good! Oh! Sweetie. Anthony, you are in trouble, sir. I love how Benedict just thoroughly enjoys everything about Kate. I love it. They are gonna be best- Oh! The deer prefer the edge of the- Oh! I'm sorry, Mr. Capital R Rake, Mr. Womanizer, Mr. Whoring all over town in the first episode. A little bit of thigh is enough to send you into a spiral? This man is thinking thoughts and none of them are appropriate. And I want him to act on those thoughts immediately. Perhaps if you'd not been out once again the other morning, we might not have been put in such a difficult situation. What? Exactly which difficult situation are you referring to, my lord? Your... The other morning. When I was stunned. After which you put my hand to your bosom. To show you I was a... <laughs> Not the bosom. She's the one who then looked at me. You looked at me. Not in the way that you did. And how exactly did I look? Like a whore. <laughs> Right now! 
Oh my god, the heavy breathing, same. The hands, oh lord. The fingers! Is he smelling her? Oh! There the two of you are. Benedict, I love you, but you need to fuck off. Um, so that was a lot. Much to discuss, much to think about. Also, Anthony having the audacity to ask how did I look at you. Sir, you were overcome. You were panting, foaming at the mouth for this woman. I mean, yes, you were also having a panic attack, so I guess that's part of it. But also, you just were- you were breathing into each other's mouths. It was ridiculous. I know for a fact that you only can look at her lips when you talk to her, because I rewatched that B scene at least 25 times. So I know. I saw every look. I saw every gasp. I saw you, sir. He's still there? Sit Thorpe brought his illustrator along for a grand tour. Oh, she, she hates this. I don't- why doesn't she- I'm confused. Like, does she not like that Colin is there? Is she not happy with her husband? Oh, Paxos is beautiful. He seems really into his plants. Maybe he has no time for anything else. I only go to Greece to see plants. Okay, is that it? Do you not like the whole plant thing going on? I'm very confused. I came to apologize. Mm-hmm. Throughout my travels, I kept- Pondering how I left things. I thought you left to go get over that. But do you not look at your life and wonder what may have been if we- Sir, why are you here dredging up the past? Yes! I have left the past behind. You just barged into her house, into her life, after probably a year, a little over a year of not being around. She has kids, she has a husband, she's a lady running a house. This is not okay, Colin. You have no business asking her this. I don't appreciate this, and I don't think Marina appreciates this either. I am not the same woman you once knew. Yeah. And I refuse to be thrust back into such- Exactly. Good on you, Marina. Colin, you Marina. need to leave. You need to wake up, Colin. Yes. And leave. <gasps> I did not mean to startle you. <laughs> I saw a light and thought I might have left a candle. Oh, this is so inappropriate. Her hair is down. She's in her nightgown. Go inside. Be inappropriate together. How did you die? Is he gonna tell the truth? He was stung by me. Ooh. And now she feels bad. My lord. I, I am so sorry. I... To see a great man fell by such a small creature, it was, um, it was humbling, to say least. Just mash your lips together, please. Come on! You're looking at each other like that and I can't stand it, just do it! Oh, this is not- It's all right. It's no. All right. Kate! She'll bid you good night. Are you joking?! Nothing was there to interrupt you. This is the first fucking time you could have kissed and no one was there to stop you and you just left? <laughs> Simone, Ashley, and Jonathan Bailey said that this season is all about the yearning and they are absolutely right. It is about the yearning between Kate and Anthony and it is also about me yearning for them to make out. It's actually, you know what? It's an affront to humanity. Okay, and that's why I care about this. This is a this is a justice issue, okay? This is a human rights issue. Do you mind keeping quiet? I'm counting my steps. So. <laughs> what worries the master's here? Oh, I've read a lot. Ooh, a bookish man. Okay. Yeah. If our feeble minds might collapse, we could have any ideas in them. <laughs> Most of the ladies I've met seems to be true. Many of them have really an articulated thought. Excuse me? They've not been offered the same opportunity. What do you say? We quit the dance floor. Oh, I don't like this man. Take him away. Get rid of him. Perhaps I shall quit the dance floor now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ew, do not grab her! I invited you, Morris. Well, you fucked up then, because he's a piece of shit. Shirt your rebellious spirit. Rebellious? He's an asshole. My rebellion is not some party dress I put on to play a part, Mama, and it is certainly not some accomplishment I have developed. I am a disappointment to you, so just allow me to take my leave and go to bed. Oh. Always. If he's going to declare himself before the end of the ball, as I hope, he shall need to ask you for your blessing. And you are ready to grant him your blessing. No. You want? No. Absolutely not. Oh, it's their first dance. Oh, God. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm calm. I'm cool. Dancing on my own! Okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I, I changed my mind. I take it back. I'm not okay. I had to switch up the shirt, so I forgot what I was saying, but basically, whoever chose this song for this dance, sick and twisted. I hate you and I love you in equal measure. Oh my god, they are not blinking, they are not losing eye contact for a second. Oh! They keep looking at each other's lips. This should be illegal. 
Oh, he did it again! If your silence is an indication we're reconsidering your declaration, is that what you want for me to reconsider? Yes! I'll utter what I want. No! I do not think that is true. Exactly! Kate! I swear to God, Kate! I'm to return to India. The moment my sister marries, she will not need me. There will be no more reason for me to stay. Except that he loves you. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my God, his face. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. She said that she's leaving for India. And this man, did you see his face? He was so upset and he just walked off. He couldn't even stand to look at her knowing that he's gonna lose her so soon. Oh God. And you will not concern yourself with finding a match of your own. Why would that concern you? Yeah, Anthony, why would that concern you? Seems to me you will find any excuse you can to keep me away from this. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's break this down for a second, shall we? Why would Kate leaving for India after her sister is married be an excuse or a tactic to keep you from proposing. The only way that would possibly work is if you wanted Kate to stay and that the thought of Kate leaving would prevent you from proposing to Edwina. Is that what's happening? Is that so, Lord Bridgerton? Don't worry, I already know the answer to that question. Why is it that you dislike me so? Because you vex me. And what is it do you think you do to me? What? What do I do to you? The fan isn't enough, I need a pillow. I'm a gentleman. Are you? Gentlemen are not alone in rooms with girls. He's with my sister. And my heart is with your sister. Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening, it's happening. Everyone shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. So you do not care for me. This is not, this is not okay. Oh, this is so delicious. <sighs> you feel. No! <laughs> Daphne! I can't do this. I can't. I. Daphne, listen. I don't know if this is some kind of karma or retribution from last season, but they are. They, oh, you denied me of what I wanted, Daphne. And for that reason alone, you were top of my hit list. They were. Oh, they were like a centimeter apart. Their lips were about to touch. I cannot. I cannot do this for much longer. I cannot do this. How much more of the episode do we have? We only have like 10 minutes. I'm not getting my kiss in this episode, am I? Well, looks like you have to get married. That's how it goes. <laughs> She's drinking to Everyone here is just binge drinking to get over Kate and Anthony and their whorishness. It is clear that you have affection for Miss Sean. The two of you cannot seem to stay away from one another. Because she is aggravated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jonathan Bailey, the actor that you are. Emmy Award for making that face alone, sir. Kate saying, because you vex me, and Anthony making that face while saying she is aggravating. This is why enemies to lovers is a superior trope. And it will always win. Always. There is obviously something between you. Because one way or another, these kind of feelings always have a way of coming to the surface. And what kind of feelings are they? Love. What? Love. I should write for this show. Then I know what I must do. What does that mean? No, I don't like this look and I don't like the way he said that line. What the fuck does that mean, sir? Maybe crying alone on this terrace. Lady Dumbrey, I fear there may be no proposal from the Viscount. Maybe not to Edwina. Wounded for Edwina. Because Aww. you two cannot get along. Yeah, sure, something like that. I do not know what to do. There is only one thing to do. Be honest with your sister, with yourself, yeah. about my dislike for the Viscount. About... Whatever it is. Which is definitely not dislike. I don't know about you, but I do not breathe into the mouth of someone I dislike. My girl's feelings are clearly not there for me. Perhaps they are elsewhere. Miss mm -hmm. Danbury. Lady Dan- Wait. Hold on. Hold on. No. Is he gonna- No. Anthony Bridgerton. I raised you better than this. Edwina? Is she gonna tell her? There's something I must Oh my do. god. Wait. Oh, Anthony! Is he gonna do that dumbass fucking shit I think he's gonna do? Of course. We're going to Miss Edwina. My lord? Miss Edwina Shaw. No! 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 Will you marry me? Oh my! Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, it's bad. It's so bad. Please don't make me watch this. Please don't make me watch this. 
Oh god, okay. Pain is incoming. Pain is imminent. Okay. Yes. Yes. I shall be- <gasps> Oh! She did not hand her gloves to Kate. Anthony Bridgerton is now- <gasps> Oh, her face! Edwina Sharma. You- uh, You stupid piece of shit. You asshole. You- You're not even happy about it. You can't even muster up a genuine smile. What? laugh because it's so bad. I can only laugh because if I don't laugh, I'll cry. <laughs> Anthony Bridgerton, I'm talking to you directly now. I want you to riddle me this. What exactly makes you think that if you propose to Edwina, you're suddenly going to not be in love with Kate Sharma? Is that really what's going through your head right now? I thought you at least owned one brain cell, sir, but apparently no. Your head is just fucking empty. There's no one home. Okay, let's break it down because there were so many levels of hurt and heartbreak to that scene. Let's start off with the fact that Kate was literally about to tell Edwina the truth, the truth about her feelings for Anthony. And the fact that when Anthony said, I need to speak with you, the fact that Kate walked towards him with this open, vulnerable expression and said, of course, oh, that moment is the worst for me. I can't even think about it without wanting to cry. And then this dumb bitch could not even muster up a genuine smile. He looked like he was in physical pain putting that ring on Edwina's finger. The fact that that ring is on Edwina's finger, I am, mm, that is Kate's ring. I have never been this stressed out in my entire life. This is the halfway point of the season. Are you joking? I have to do four more episodes of this. I better get my happy ending. I swear to God. How are you going to have an episode with that much sexual tension? Between Kate and Anthony, I was on the edge of my seat. They were breathing into each other's mouths, exchanging hot carbon dioxide between each other the whole episode. And then he proposes to Edwina. Make it make sense. You can't make it make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Anthony Bridgerton, you are ridiculous. Listen, the next episode, I just know it is going to be all angst. Angst fucking central. And part of me loves it. I love some good angst. I love pining. I do. But I... I hate seeing Kate in pain. I hate seeing Anthony in pain, even though he's pissed me the fuck off. Uh, anyway, I need to watch the next episode immediately. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below. Once again, keep the discussion to just this episode and all those that came previously. I'm talking so fast right now. My heart is beating out of my chest. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the love you've been giving these reaction videos. I truly appreciate it. I love you all so very dearly, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. In the next reaction episode. I don't know what I'm saying. It's time for me to go. Goodbye.